to start this off, this happened just recently. I don't know if it happened sometime early this year or near the last few months of last year. But this is far bar. N not really the type of story to make you jump out of your seat. But it was one story that was saddening. Now, to cut to the chase, my mom's friend lives in Kentucky. And Kentucky has had the worst tornado of a year. The tornado had gotten so bad around the area that most people had to evacuate their houses when they were close to the range of the tornado. My mom's friend didn't evacuate or anything, but they were kind of scared. What I'm saying by they didn't evacuate is they didn't evacuate to another country tree or uh, something like that, but the tornado was honestly the worst one. Now, to cut to the chase, Ace, it was sometime on the news after that worst tornado happened. Some buildings were damaged, and even some people were injured or killed during the storm. One of them being that a young, young girl. I can't remember how old she was, but during the tornado, she lost her family. Basically, her mom, her dad, her siblings, and she is now all by herself. However, though, this was very saddening, knowing that she lost most of her family. She has so far went out to go and live with her other family members, probably her aunt and uncles, or possibly their grandparents, who knows. But this story makes me feel sad for that young girl who ended up losing almost ev pretty much everything everything in her family and her heart. I still feel bad to her for her to this day and I still do. This took place sometime in 2017 and this happened to be on one of the the scariest thunderstorms of the year. Now, to cut to the chase, this actually happened to a neighbor who lived about maybe not far from my elementary school and my hometown. His name was Dwayne and he was a pretty chill kind of guy. He and I, along with my family, we don't talk to him very much, but Dwayne was basically an Uber driver. He did this only on times when he didn't have work or when he just wanted the extra cash. Ever since he and his wife which we'll call her, her, Melissa, had gone into an argument that led them to having a divorce. Dwayne had to get a second job to help pay for certain expenses, and he had an argument with his landlord Lord, a few times due to the fact that he couldn't pay the rent at full amount, and the landlord was kind of mad about that. So Dwayne had to find a second source of income. He took the job as being an Uber driver, and it wasn't really that hard. He mainly drove people to and from places, and it was normally, normally a pretty good job. Dwayne enjoyed it, as whenever he wasn't working at his actual job, he would do his job as an Uber driver. He had some really weird and strange people while driving to and from places. Anything from people having hangovers to, to smokers and etc. But there was this one particular person that Dwayne never expected to see in his whole life. Dwayne was usually driving around in his car looking to see if anyone had requested for an Uber. As he was, was driving down, he saw some lightning in the distance indicating that there was a very bad thunderstorm heading the way. Now, it was near the evening and the sun was about was setting and it was more so to the point where you could not see any sunlight anymore. Dwayne was about to call in a night when he got a request from an Uber or request from someone. Someone requested him to pick him up, to pick up this passenger. So, Dwayne went over to this one person's location. It happened to be a Walmart, which it he expected it to be a teenager or at least someone one waiting to be picked up. He pulled over to see that there was a woman. 
this woman looked honestly very creepy. She looked to be about maybe five foot foot four, and she was staring at him with a creepy looking smile. At first, Dwayne didn't think much of it, maybe just thinking maybe she was just out of her mind or crazily mentally insane. The woman introduced herself as Mary, and she gets into the car when Dwayne said, Did you request an Uber? Of course, Mary nodded yes, just as another lightning struck down Hound, and the Walmart lost power. Mary got in with her stuff, and Dwayne began to drive out of there, asking her where would he like to take her. Oh, just take me to my house, she said. Dwayne nods and he does that, followed by some pouring rain, which started to pour really hard. Dwayne had to drive slow at certain roads as the rain was making it hard for him to see at times. He looked and he watched where he was going and was driving when Mary ended up staring at him every now and then. Dwayne looked up thinking maybe that Mary had some sort of, of issue, but decided maybe he was, she was just deranged or something. Unsure of what she was doing, he decided to think maybe she had some issues and decided to ignore her as best as he can. As Mary tried, was talking and mumbling words, Dwayne was trying to wonder what she was saying. When they finally arrived at the house, she ended up up getting out of the house with her stuff and then turned to Dwayne. Oh, I forgot something in there. Can you come with me? Now, Dwayne honestly knew that this woman seemed to be, be looking like she had plans. He said, oh, I'm sorry. I have to head home. I'll see you later, he said. But of course, this woman was looking at him very creepily as he backed out of his out of her driveway. By the time he got out of the driveway, he could see that there was a few more than two men and popping out from from the house and they ended up going back in. Dwayne honestly knew that these people were planning something, but was just glad that this Mary got out of there. Dwayne had called the cops and the cops to look in the house, but to absolutely find no one there. To this day, Dwayne still has these moments of him thinking that Mary would somehow come back for him. But but whatever it was that Mary had planned, Dwayne did not want to find out. I have no idea what would have happened to Dwayne if he went into that house with Mary. Chances are, he could have been kidnapped, he could have been robbed, could have been killed, God knows what. But Dwayne has never seen Mary again. And he stopped working for an Uber driver and quit that job ever since that day. He still gets nightmares when he thinks about this. Now, to give a bit of description, this actually happened to one of my friends, which we'll call her Danielle. We'll call her Danielle for the sake of the story. Danielle... Yeah, Danielle was about maybe be 15 years old and she was home alone this one night. She was basically home alone as her parents had to to stay at their jobs over time because there was a possible storm emergency. It was already a thunderstorm outside so Danielle was sitting there and was just mainly playing video games and even chatting with some people online. As she was doing this, she ended up seeing her dog, which they call her Mandy, was a very well-trained Rottweiler. Mandy was close to who Danielle at all times, even though there was no one home. I guess this was a thing for Mandy to do, but... Danielle was not really sure. Being the good dog that she is, Danielle was about to go and let her dog go outside. But as she was doing that, however, Mandy suddenly starts barking at the front door as soon as they got downstairs. 
Danielle was honestly confused, thinking that maybe Mandy saw a squirrel or raccoon or something wandering around, as little critters do like to come out at this time. It was near nightfall, so Danielle went over and turned on the front light, but to absolutely see no one there but falling rain. She thought that Mandy might have been hearing things, as this was common in dogs, so she ended up going back into her, her bedroom after letting the dog out. However, not only lately, a few minutes later, when Mandy came back in, there was a loud knock coming from the front door. Obviously, Danielle went over to open it, but to absolutely see no one there. Very confused, confused as she was, Danielle had no idea. Why would somebody be knocking at the door during the storm? She called out if anyone was there, but to no, no avail or no answer. So it honestly surprises that there was absolutely no one there. Honestly, she had no idea who it was, was or who was making the noises or what was. But as of that, Danielle still has no idea to this very day of who or what was there. But Danielle would like to think that whatever she experienced that day was completely paranormal. Now, this is just not really the longest story, nor the scariest, but it's definitely something that stuck with my mom when she was a kid. Now, I can't remember when this was, but when my mother was a kid, she and her brothers, along with her parents, my grandparents, were living in a decent house, house somewhere in Canada. Now, as they were living there, however, they had a really bad, terrible storm one year, which it caused them to stay indoors for most of the day. As the storm was getting really bad, and they ended up not doing much since power unfortunately got knocked out by the storm, so they were waiting for the power to come back on. As they were waiting, same, my mother looked over to see that there was a person staring at them through the window. The cops were called, but by the time they got there, the, the creature or person was already gone. They were still on the patrol and lookout for this person, but unfortunately they couldn't find him. They had no idea who it was, but no one ever came up with anything of why was that person staring at my mom through the window with her brothers. They couldn't really find out what exactly this person wanted. But whatever they, this person wanted was definitely something not good. <laughs> 